So with so many people working from home nowadays, finding that perfect ergonomic setup for you while in your own home may be really difficult or really expensive. Logitech recently released their ergonomic thumb trackball mouse the Ergo M575 recently at a very affordable price of around $50 as an upgrade to its predecessor, the M570. And it's an ergonomic alternative for those of you who are using these normal style mice. It may benefit you, it may not. In this video, I'll be reviewing this mouse, telling you all my experiences with it and what I really think about it coming up. This is Betty from Switch and Click, and this one's a little bit different. We are covering a Logitech ergonomic mouse, and it's a thumb trackball. Before we get into the review, I'm going to preface that I'm an occupational therapist. I have my master's in OT. I did a short field work in hand therapy. I did a long three month internship with stroke rehab for the upper extremity, and I worked a ton in pediatrics working on handwriting, posture, the ideal working environment and things like that for a bunch of kiddos. So I think I have a lot to say when it comes to ergonomics and the upper extremity and things like that. Now that that's out of the way, we jump into the mouse. Logitech did send this over as a review sample. So let's get to what's in the box. All right, inside the box, we have this preview how to use guide poster kind of thing. And it tells you how to connect it, how to hold it, how to use it and all that stuff. It also tells you your requirements and all that. So that is all available online as well if you're interested. You also get this important safety, compliance and warranty information. And then you get the mouse as well. So it's pretty big, it's pretty sizable. It fits many palm sizes. It comes with its own double A battery and there's also a USB wireless receiver right in the mouse itself too. So that's a really convenient storage spot for that so you don't lose it when you're on the go or something. And then there's an on off button here so you can connect to your receiver whenever. Alongside this, you have this recyclable material on the inside here, if you disassemble the holder of the mouse, it'll tell you how to connect and how to get started with your mouse. So pretty cool packaging there. Love that it's recyclable and it's not made of plastic or something. For those of you who've never heard of a trackball, the first question is why should you even consider something like this? So when you're using a regular mouse and you're just holding it like normal, you notice that your forearm is a little bit twisted while you're using it. And there's two bones there in your forearm. They lay parallel to each other, but when you turn your palm down, they twist. And after you're in that position for such a long time, the muscles that do that twisting, they get tight, they start hurting, they develop knots, things like that. Alongside that, you're, you have other muscles that are helping you do the movement of moving your mouse around your table. And that's like your chest and your biceps and the muscles of the forearm that control your wrist as well. So you can get tight in all of those areas. So they thought about making a trackball mouse. Seems pretty logical, I suppose. With a trackball mouse, the mouse itself doesn't move. It sticks onto the table because there's rubber feet at the bottom. And the idea here is rather than moving the mouse to track around your screen, you're going to move your thumb to track around the screen. There's also finger track balls, so you can use your index finger rather than your thumb. And those are just some different options that are available, but we're not going too deep into those other options. So with this, you place your mouse in a position that's comfortable for your upper body, and then you use your thumb to track around your screen. Ideally, that's the idea. There are some downsides to it because there's downsides to everything. You gotta sacrifice somewhere to make gains in another place. But we'll cover that all down the line as we get into the review. But that was just a overview of why would you even consider trackballs in the first place. All right, so first is build quality right out of the box, you can hear this shaking noise. So what exactly is shaking here? 
it's the trackball inside of its little place. So the trackball is removable. You can, there's a hole in the back here where you can push the trackball right out. And it's sort of a shiny material. And the trackball needs to be cleaned intermittently so that the sensor on the inside of the mouse can sense all of its movement properly and track properly on your computer. It's pretty smooth and you can pop that back in, pop it out. That's responsible for the noise. On the bottom here, you have five rubber feet and that really makes sure the mouse doesn't move while you're using it. And let me tell you, it definitely stays. To move the mouse, you have to pick it up and then put it down somewhere else. But overall, the build really just isn't anything special. It's not super impressive. And then you have your scroll wheel. It doesn't make a ton of noise. It's pretty quiet. And it's got some kind of tactile feeling, but not super satisfying or anything. But for a mouse, I don't really have any complaints. There are two buttons here on the top. One is for forward and one is for back. And these buttons are relatively quiet as well when you're in use. I mean, of course it's a mouse designed for like in the office or somewhere like that. So it's a pretty quiet mouse. You got two buttons, the left click and right click obviously, and they make pretty loud clicking noises. It's a quick preview of the clicks, but we'll do a full sound test of everything later on. So pretty, pretty loud there. And on the surface, it is all plastic, but it has these grooves and lines where it's just curved to meet your palm. And that feels really comfortable. On the back, you have an on off button here. It can connect via Bluetooth or via the wireless dongle. Your choice, if your computer doesn't have a USB-A port, you can connect via Bluetooth. So how does the ball perform? This is my first time using a thumb trackball mouse. I've mostly only used pretty regular mice, wired and wireless. So this is my first thumb trackball. And from what I can see, the large movements are really easy and really comfortable to use because you're just doing a quick glide on the ball one direction or another. When it comes to the finer movements and really wanting to click on a certain place or a certain icon or button, that's when the mouse starts to struggle a bit. I did edit several videos with this mouse and that's where I saw it start to struggle more than if I were using a regular mouse. When it came to dragging clips into a certain place, I found that I was overriding other clips and having to undo and try it again many, many times. But the big movements, the big scrolls, that felt really good and very easy to do. So smaller, more refined movements are more difficult. Even when gaming, such as old school RuneScape, where there's a lot more clicking involved on a small screen, it really struggled and I had a harder time. And it was fatiguing my thumb a lot more than if I was just moving across the screen trying to open Word or the internet or something like that. So it is compatible with Windows and Mac. There is a software that you can download called Logitech Options. However, there's not many options on Logitech Options that you can customize. I'll go over the software pretty quickly right now. It's a pretty small download, but there's not much you can do with it. As far as comfort goes, it's really comfortable and it's the most comfort that I've felt in my chest and in my upper extremities for a long time now. If I put the mouse in one place, it reminds my body, oh, that's a comfortable position to go to. The mouse fits most sizes of hands from small to large. I have a small hand and it fits me just fine. Jake has a large hand and it fits him fine too. The curve of the mouse, as you can see, compared from a normal mouse where you have to rotate your forearm all the way down to this mouse where your forearm only rotates about 45 degrees. This is much more comfortable and the bones don't twist. So I really like that and it felt really good not having any muscle knots on my forearms because I was editing all the time. Even if I take breaks, it gets really tight. So that was nice, allowed my forearms to relax. But after several pretty long sessions. I was feeling a lot of fatigue in the joints of my thumbs and in the muscle that really moves the thumb around on the inner side of your palm here. And that's when things didn't go so well. 
It did take me a little bit to adjust to using the trackball, about two hours to finally get the hang of it and not feel so uncoordinated while using it. As for the battery life, it's really long. Since there's no lights or anything fancy, one AA battery, as they say, is going to last up to 24 months and that's about two years. So that's a really long time for a single AA battery. So what concerns me about this mouse and why didn't I have a good time using it? There were several factors here and one of them was that I didn't ease myself into adjusting to the mouse. Instead, I sort of just jumped straight into it right away. So if you are going to try out a trackball, I recommend just starting with one hour and then see if you feel any fatigue and then two hours and then up it until it can just take over your entire workday or you can go back and forth between different style mice. That way you aren't stuck in the same position for a large amount of time. So ideally, changing positions and taking breaks is the best way to go. Primary concern for me with this mouse will be repetitive stress injury, also known as RSI and de Quervain's tenosynovitis. The cause of that is sort of unknown, but it presents as pain in the joint of the thumb here on the radial side of the thumb where it meets your forearm at the wrist. And you'll feel some kind of pain when you're putting your wrist in extension or if you're trying to stretch that muscle there, you'll feel some pain there as well. And I used to have this in grad school. I was starting to feel that pain come back again. So I decided, okay, I can't use this mouse. It's obviously triggering some kind of problem with my wrists and my thumbs, but not everyone's the same. All of our anatomy is different. Your anatomy is different than my anatomy. So I had a problem with them trackballs, but I've read plenty of case studies and stories where people were like, this really helped my carpal tunnel, arthritis, the aquarium veins, things like that. So if you're experiencing some kind of pain, it's probably best to go to a doctor, see a physical therapist or an occupational therapist. Another thing about thumb trackballs in particular is when we think about joint protection, we tend to prefer to use the larger joints of the body. Here, it's the elbow, the shoulder, and the wrist, whereas the thumb here has three really small joints and focusing all of that work into those small joints is gonna take a larger toll than if you do the same amount of work with the larger joints. So what's the verdict here? This mouse is $50. It's really affordable for what you would call an ergonomic mouse. A thumb trackball works wonders for some people. It may work for you. It doesn't work for me. I came into it already thinking about some of these issues, but part of me really wished that it would have worked for me because as you know, I work from home and I'm on the computer a lot and I do a lot of work with the mouse and the keyboard. And nowadays that's pretty common. Some other options to consider is maybe even thinking about a vertical mouse. I've been using the Logitech MX vertical mouse recently and this for me works a lot more wonders than the thumb trackball. But for many people, something like this may not be as comfortable. So it just really depends on who you are, what your anatomy is like, and you can also see a professional and get their opinions on it as well. As we can see, nothing really is a one size fits all solution. And I know that's a pain to hear. As you know, we sort of have to because they are knowledgeable in so many things that we are not knowledgeable in. So if you're looking for a thumb trackball, the Ergo M575 is a really good and affordable solution. If you're looking for a vertical mouse, the Logitech MX vertical mouse is a really good solution as well, but I can't say that it'll work for you. It's worth trying and then determining for yourself whether you like it or not and whether your body wants it to work or not. So it's a great way to get your feet wet into ergonomic products for a more affordable and more budget-friendly price. The link is down below if you wanna check it out. It really is a great affordable thumb trackball. It's just not great for my anatomy and for my usage. As always, I hope this was helpful for you and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.